Hello there guys and welcome back to another Forza Horizon 4 video on my channel. Uh, so uh, this is the first video in around a week and a half and I've had a week break so I didn't do any videos on the autumn season but we're back for winter um, so do not worry I am still alive, I'm not dead. Um, I will be bringing you content now for as long as possible. I just needed to take a break last week just to do a couple of things in real life um, so we didn't make any content last week but um, I'm sure you would have got along fine um, without me and I'm back this week to help you out so in this video we'll be going through how you can complete the Winter Forzathon for series 37 which is called Group B um, so yeah um, probably how the Germans spell it I'm guessing because Porsche is German and um, Group B in English would be spelled G R O U P, so well, I'm guessing anyway. Um, so I'll tell you how you can complete this Forza Thumb quickly and easily to get yourself 100 Forza Thumb points, or you can get yourself 200 Forza Thumb points if you own a Lake Lodge house, which is 5 million credits, or it is free with VIP Pass. And I highly recommend that you do get this house because um, obviously it gives you double Forza Thumb points in weekly challenges, daily challenges. Falls on live events on the hour every hour and also the bonus that you get for completing the weekly and all seven dailies if you didn't know about that so it'll really help you and um, towards getting points for cars in the falls on shop especially if you haven't got some of the rarer cars and they might appear in the falls on shop so I highly recommend you do get that and you'll also get 15 percent uh, yeah 15 percent towards the winter season um, as well for completing this which will help boost you towards 50 and 80 percent um, and we'll be covering the rest of the season tomorrow Thursday the 15th of um, July um, in my full completion guide that I always do on a Thursday which of course we didn't do last week but we'll be doing it again tomorrow uh, it'll be uploaded around the same time or maybe a slightly earlier than this video as I am a tad late recording this but not too late um, so I'll try not to waffle, um, although I have had a week off and I haven't played Forza for about two weeks now, so um, yeah, I am a bit iffy. Um, I didn't do too bad the other way, the other day though, I was on on Monday, it's the only time I've played in the last two weeks, um, and I won my first Drift Adventure, uh, and I was, I was alright doing the Autumn playlist, I just about had time to do that, um, but yeah, if I am a bit iffy I do apologise, but... Um, and we'll, we'll also be back with the live streams next week hopefully as well and um, so if you haven't heard about, about my competition yet I'll leave a link to the um, video regarding that on the end screen of this video um, so if you don't know about the competition f please watch it because we haven't got too many entries um, I think we've, we've probably got about eight or nine entries um, but I kind of want a full lobby at least um, so we're going to have a brilliant time to celebrate 150 of course we're now on 180 subscribers so thank you so much for that I haven't really um, shown much appreciation for that yet but I really do appreciate it I couldn't thank you any um, any more to be honest because oh, it really does mean a lot we're on one hour to 200 very quickly um, so I'll try and plan something for that as well um, but yeah do check out my competition um, because I'd really want some more entries to that um, and you've still got like a week, week and a half to do that before the competition live stream. Um, so yeah, feel free to do that as well. Um, so without any further ado then, let's get actually into this Forzathon. Um, so the timestamps or the chapters for this video can be found in the description. They should be showing uh, on the bottom of your video now. Uh, in the description you can find each chapter um, in uh, the, near the bottom I think I normally put it. And also any other information regarding chapters, codes and stuff. Uh, any other information I always pop it in the description not sure how many people read the description anymore um, but I will always fill in the description because I believe that you should and um, to give people the best information that you can uh, any questions let me know in the comments I'll try my best to reply to you so let's get into the video then um, so chapter one is called street legal you need to own drive the incredible 1987 Porsche 959 a car that is years ahead of its time thanks to its experimental nature um, so the Porsche 959 I do believe is in the auto show um, so if I show you it in my garage now um, so it's 400,000 in the auto show I'm not sure how expensive if it, it blah, 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 not sure how expensive it is in the auction probably cheaper because I don't think it's a particularly rare car um, so it comes stock in um, B or A class, I think it's A class, and it comes stock with all-wheel drive as well. 
um, which is also mentioned further on in this um, fourth thon. So um, you'll probably need a tune for this just to make it a bit easier and a bit more fun for you. Um, so I've created an X-Class tune with the V8 hybrid engine from the Porsche 918. Um, so it's absolutely insane. X uh, to X class with over four in blah, 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 can't speak tonight. With over fourteen hundred horsepower, extremely fast. Um, but I've also fitted Forza Aero to keep it on the road as well. Um, so you can go and download my tune. I'll put the code in the description. I can find it by my game tag channel 2017. Um, so yes, hopefully this tune will be all right for you. Um, so once you've got in your Porsche 959. Uh, and you've popped my or somebody else's tune on it then you can move on to the next chapter which is called quad damage originally planned as a group b car the porsche 959 inherited four-wheel drive technology which should come in handy for winning three dirt trail events so this is where it mentions the four-wheel drive um, so in 1987, four-wheel drive was quite rare. It was in the it was in the Audi Quattro, which is like the first rally car to include it. Um, but for a, like a supercar kind of uh, or sports car, whatever you would call this, to have four-wheel drive, to be fair, that's pretty advanced. Like it said in the first chapter, and obviously quite a lot of cars have it nowadays, like the uh, 911 turbos and stuff. Quite a lot of them have it. Um, because well it is kind of better really um so yes um so three dirt trail events then so these are dirt racing events that are like the sprint so trail is a sprint in dirt racing so you can't do the circuits which are known as scrambles it has to be a sprint or a trail uh, and you have to win three of them so you basically either pick some off the map so if I show you my map now, I've filtered it to uh, street racing because we need that further on as well, and dirt racing. Um, so you can pick uh, any sprint event, uh, either redo the same one or pick three different ones such as these. Um, make sure you don't restart at the end if you are doing the same one because then it'll only keep counting one, you have to go fully back out and back in. Um, but if you want you can um, use my blueprint which is at a circuit but it's a sprint so don't worry about it being a circuit because it is the, the blueprint to sprint. Um, so you need to head over to Ambleside Scramble on your map. Uh, or you can type in the share code in your pause menu in the creative hub in blueprint events in search either search up my gamer tag and then filter it to dirt racing or type in the share code i'm about to show you now or like i said head over to ampleside scramble on your map then enter it go to solo custom events and then either search in my gamer tag here again or type in the share code um, and w whenever you do either, this will pop up. Quick dirt for the thong, go straight. Literally, it speaks for itself, go straight. The AI tend to go off left into a tree and die in hell. And you just go off to the finish. I think it takes about 10 seconds, not too long. So the share code um, is as follows, 131271469. I'll pop that in the description for you as well. Um, so I'm not going to demonstrate because it'll make the video too long and it's really simple literally just go straight to the finish mind the AI don't ram you but you shouldn't have any problems the this tune that I've got on mine has got race tyres on it um, so um, yes it's quite slidey um, but it'll be alright because you're only having to go straight um, so once you've done that then and you won three without clicking restart at the end and it pops up saying you're completed you can move on to the next chapter which is called there is no substitute in the end the Porsche 959 project became all about state of the art technology technology ugh, I can't speak, I give up innovation put it to good use by winning two street scene events as well no idea why I can't speak tonight I do apologize for that but there's the word and um, so win two street scene events you can't and uh, blueprint street scene events which is slightly annoying um, but there is one that I would recommend that is the shortest and the easiest one in my opinion I'll show you that in just a second again and um, pick whichever you want either two separate ones or the same one and um, twice but if you are doing the same one don't click restart same as the dirt racing because it'll only count one um, so race tyres will do you in handy for this obviously if you are struggling and you want to make it a bit easier for yourself put yourself on new racer um, because then the drive tiles will be dead slow so you're almost guaranteed a win uh, although if you want to challenge yourself put it up towards unbeatable which is what I drive on um, but if you are doing this on new racer or below um, then make sure you turn it back up to highly skilled for the championships 
um, which I'll, I'll talk more about tomorrow. So the one that I would recommend is this one here, Coastal Charge. Oh, bugger off, was on live. So it's just like to the left of Bamber Castle here. Uh, and as you can see from the map, it finishes about here. Um, but if you look at it, you come along here and see this bit here. Well, the checkpoints are about here. And then the next checkpoint is here. So you can literally cut across the field and carry more speed into this corner round. Um, make sure you don't overshoot this corner like everybody does. Um, it's not essential, but it'll definitely help you. Um, and also, when you come through here, try not to go flying off into the field and die. Um, it's it's quite an easy one actually, as long as you know where the uh, where you need to break. Um, so just do that one twice or any other that you'd like to give a shot at and then that will be that chapter completed and then you can move on to the final chapter which is called Zero Lift. The Porsche 959 has advanced aerodynamics designed to produce Zero Lift. Use this to adv advantage to earn 10 ultimate near miss skills. So an ultimate near miss skill is a near miss skill but you have to be going quite fast and you have to be very close to the um, AI car or driver car if you're in solo mode. Um, so just as a dem demonstration I would highly recommend you head over to the motorway um, and to spawn more AI going um, solo mode but I, it works in Horizon Life mode normally um, because you only need 10 of them. Basically just go quite fast, I think it's like 180 mile an hour or something which shouldn't be a problem in this car with this tune. Uh, and then just try and get as close to the AI without touching them as possible. So if I give you a quick example here, if I can get some speed. Um, so it's up to you, there you go. That was an awesome near miss, that was another awesome near miss. Yeah, the car is a tad slidey. That was not one. That was also not one. So yeah, uh, you get the gist anyway. Just try and go really fast and try not to hit the AI when you're going past them. And then you will have them ultimate near miss skills. And then that is the Forza Thun completed. So once you've done that, you'll get 100 or 200 Forza Thun points and 15% towards the winter season. So yes, that is it for this Forza Thun, so I hope you enjoyed today's video, if you did I massively appreciate it if you could like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on, any support towards 200 subscribers would be massively appreciated. Like I said, check out my competition video if you haven't already, please please enter if you, if you can because that would be massively appreciated um, and I really do appreciate um, any support towards 200 subscribers as well. If you have any questions let me know in the comments. Uh, and I'll see you tomorrow for the main completion guide of winter. So thank you again for watching. I really do appreciate the support, guys. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.